All right, so this video is going to be part one of using common Maclaurin series to find a series representation for a uncommon function, okay? So, what do we have here? We, have, we need to find the Maclaurin series for f of x equals x cosine of 2x. Now, which of these, the common Maclaurin series, match this function the most, okay? Well, that's going to be cosine of x, right? Cosine of x, and we know that that is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times x to the 2n over 2n factorial, okay? Now, if we now make this a cosine of 2x, okay, we're going to take this one step at a time. If we make this cosine of 2x, let's see what happens. Well, cosine of 2x is going to equal the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of, now we just put a 2x wherever we see an x. Let's do that. We get the negative 1 to the n times a 2x to the 2n over 2n factorial. Now, since we're going to be multiplying by an x, it'd be really nice if this 2 and the x were separated. So, let's separate it. We get the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times a 2 to the 2n times x to the 2n over a 2n factorial. Now, all we have to do is multiply by x x cosine of 2x is going to equal the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of, well, now we just multiply an x through. So if we multiply an x through this series, we get negative 1 to the n times 2 to the 2n times x to the, it's not going to be 2n anymore. We're multiplying this by x. So now we're going to have 2n plus 1. And this is going to be over 2n factorial. All right. Now, if you want to have less of a mess around this too, you can say that this is 4 to the n. Yes, there's nothing wrong with that. All right. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That is your Maclaurin series. All right. And we just all started with this cosine of x Maclaurin series that we already know. Now, what about our radius and interval of convergence. Well, the interval of convergence for this Maclaurin series representing cosine x is negative infinity to infinity. And that means that our radius of convergence is infinite. So that's the same thing for our Maclaurin series down here. Okay, the interval of convergence is from negative infinity to infinity, and the radius of convergence is infinite. All right, so that's it for our first problem. Now here we have, instead of a x cosine of, what do we have, last problem, 2x, we have a 1 half times x squared here. Okay, so a little bit different. Now, we can still start off with cosine x. We know that that is the sum from n equals 0 to infinity. From, when we have a negative 1 to the n times a, see if I can remember this one, it's x to the 2n over 2n factorial. Was I right? Yeah, I was right. Cool. So now we can just take this one step at a time. Let's do cosine of 1 half x squared. So we're going to plug in at 1 half x squared where we see an x. Right? That's right here. So that's going to equal the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times it's going to be 1 half x squared to the 2n. And that is going to be over 2n factorial. Now this right here, this is a gigantic mess. Okay? This is just a, a I don't even know what to call that. That's gross. Okay, that just, that looks gross. I don't like it. So we're going to make this look a lot nicer. We have the sum from n equals 0 to infinity. Of, we're going to keep this negative 1 to the n up here. And we're going to have a x to the 4n up here. We're going to split this up into 1 half to the 2n and x to the 2, or x squared to the 2n. 
okay, which is x to the 4n. So we'll have an x to the 4n up here, but since this is a 1 half to the 2n, we're just going to put down here 2 to the 2n power. Okay, and then we're going to multiply by 2n factorial. Okay, if this confuses you how I got from here to here, okay, you, you do the step in between where you split this up into 1 half to the 2n and x squared to the 2n. And then you kind of see what I'm talking about. Okay, you get an x to the 4n right here, and you get a 1 half, well that 1 half to the 2n, you can just put that 2 to the 2n down in the denominator. Okay, and the 1 to the 2n, that doesn't do anything, because it's just going to be 1. All right, so there you go. That's for cosine of 1 half of x squared. Now, what about x cosine of 1 half x squared? Well, that, we're just going to multiply by x. So, the only thing that's going to change here is going to be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times x to the 4n plus 1. And that's going to be over 2 to the 2n times 2n factorial. And there you go. And of course, your interval of convergence is going to be negative infinity to infinity, just as it is for your cosine Maclaurin series up here. And your radius of convergence is going to be infinite. Okay, so yeah, there you go. There is your uh, Maclaurin series, all right? And that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series, the explanation video for using common Maclaurin series, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.